So here we've got a two litre turbocharged engine, produces about 280 to 285 brake horsepower at the flywheel, and about 216 at wheels. So if you come a little bit closer, you can see a few of the beautiful things we've got going on. Um, under the car, you can see around here, the car is designed to take not only bumps, but also be quickly replaced. We've actually just finished the last race of Grand Tactics um, So yeah, the car is a little bit battered at the moment. If you come in a little bit closer, you'll see that we have um, some dampers here. Um, they are three-way adjustable dampers, nitrons on here. So we've got um, high-speed um, rebound and slow-speed um, rebound and bump. Um, adjustments on both the front and rear of the car. We have strut tops here, which I'm not going to show you because they reveal some of our secret settings. But the the camera, the wheels can be adjusted. Uh, strut tops. The car runs a bit of a nine max cooling package in comparison to a normal JCW S56. So we have the uh, cooling mechanism here, which then runs through to the back of the engine, and a load of grating. Um, there to stop anything flying into the car that we wouldn't want to see. We'll take a little bit of a look inside. So, come inside the car. We've obviously got the steering wheel, just like a, any normal road car. And then down on the floor we've got our pedals, so accelerator, brake and clutch. Now to change gear, we have a sequential gearbox just here located next to the driver so we be we will pull up a gear so you can see a gear indicator on the screen there pull up to go to first it won't let me go into second but we then push back down to go back down the gears so when we go up the gears we stay flat out on the power and just pull and when we brake we just brake and then go down the gears and it all works pretty seamlessly most of the time to set off we obviously have to use the clutch but apart from that we don't have anything else the Engine and shift lights come on up at the top here, and over here we have a bit of a control panel. So we have a uh, two windows. We have a wiper, which you can now see working out the front of the car, or it can go on fast. It's a bit covered at the moment. We have indicators both left and right, so we can put them on at the same time, or just one at a time. We have a washer, which is what I was trying to find in that race and couldn't. A camera button here just uh, plugs back to the cameras that we have in the car to keep them charging up and a rain light there if it, if it happens to be wet. We also have some different settings for the brake bias. Uh, so that, if I move around here, moves the, the brake bias to the front or moving it to the back uh, goes the other way. The final bit that we have here is the uh, power assistant steering. It's an electronic system and we can change it on this dial just there. So that is the inside of the car. The wheel comes off for ease and convenience to be able to spin out in a hurry. And we also have quite an advanced safety system. So we have belts that come from either side and over the top. Uh, so they all plug in a nice way down here. And then go in and end up pretty tight over the driver. Just like that. We've got winged seats, so if you were to move around or roll over, you can't move out of the car with our with our with our heads or or generally our arms. And yeah, these belts keep you in place. So as you can see, I can't really move anywhere. When I have my helmet and my hands device on, I can move even less. So uh, to get out in a hurry, you just clip out from there and jump out of the car. The other thing that you might see in here in comparison to a normal road car, we've got a roll cage. So this keeps us nice and safe if the car was to roll over. That goes right around the driver and is there to keep the shape of the car if the car was to, to, to roll. Uh, we have a different dash. Uh, we have a handbrake, which is a hydraulic handbrake. So we can use that for loading the car onto the truck, the trailer, and we also have it to help us on the start. Down here, we also have a fire extinguisher. So the red button just there, which I won't press, We'll, uh, we'll set off a fire extinguisher. There's multiple points around the car that bring up that, uh, we'll set that fire extinguisher off. This dash is also our data logger. And as you can see, there's a few parameters on here. Once we get going, 
we get shift lights and revs on there. We also get a lap time and a delta, which will show us whether we are faster or slower over a lap. We have standing mirrors, just like in a normal road car, so a centre mirror and two side mirrors. We also have a little ease of convenience, a little mini mirror, should the others get folded in. As you can see, there isn't really a lot else in here. So the car is fully stripped out to keep the weight nice and low and mean that we're as fast as possible when we go around the track. So, I'll jump out, and to conclude, I get stuck. Thanks for joining me on the NGK Ride of My Life uh, series of videos. I hope you've enjoyed having a look around my mini JCW F56 racing car. We'll see you very soon. Bye.